I made a really exciting discovery about wine cap mushrooms recently. Uh, of course, back in the spring or late winter, I had uh, inoculated some wood chips with wine cap mushroom spawn that I had bought. I had never grown these mushrooms before, um, but I want to share with where that whole project now is in the fall. Or, well, now it's winter, but you know. But I had recorded that section back in the fall. So here we are at the beginning of September, or mid-September, getting to be late September actually. And these wine caps have starting to come, have been starting to come up back in the, the wine cap growing area. These guys I found a little late. They're kind of starting to dry out now actually. But we did have a good bit of rain uh, last week and I'm thinking that's what kind of spurred um, all this growth, especially with the cooler weather that's been coming in as well. Um, but it's really good to see these guys growing, and maybe I'll get another flush of it before um, winter sets in. That would be cool. So here we are back again in the fall. We just got a bunch of rain, and you can see the wine caps are really coming up like crazy. And there are a bunch more on the way too. You can see the small ones starting to pop up all over the place. So these guys really spread. We had like four straight days of rain and uh, these guys really popped out of the ground ever since. Uh, the weather has cooled down. So, you know, the wine caps definitely like it cool and wet. You know, there was somewhat, somewhat of a flush back in the spring, early summer, late spring. These guys really like took over in the uh, the wood chips. You can you can kind of see just the you know mycelium. Some of the mycelium start starting to show, um, but it's going to be even more so in there. Yeah, got some good mycelium going on there. So may have to like refresh these wood chips uh, sooner than later. But yeah, so but for the time being gonna harvest some of these I think I'm going to uh, to freeze some of them but I think I'm going to experiment with drying some of them as well so I'll probably be slicing them pretty thin to let them dry and kind of see how they do maybe try to dry them on like a glass pan or something I don't know and then flip them on uh, different sides uh, every so often so I had this huge flush of wine cap mushrooms that came through. So I didn't really know quite what to do with it. Um, I did freeze a bunch of them. I just cut them up and uh, put them in jars and froze them. Uh, but, I but I also experimented with drying them. Uh, now I noticed uh, one batch in particular that the first one that I dried, they dried out pretty quickly within uh, two to three days. Um, I just had them in the oven. Uh, I tried to make sure that the temperature didn't get above 140 so I had to keep an eye on it and shut it off once the temperature got up to le that level because I don't want the mushrooms to cook or overheat I want them to dry and I noticed that batch dried out pretty well but then I, dr I tried a different batch another batch a couple of weeks later in the oven to dry and it was like almost like a week uh, some of them were like taking more time to dry and you know, the, the stems were still kind of damp, so I should probably do a better job of like cutting them up and then maybe drying the pieces rather than the entire mushrooms. Even I, I let some of the mushrooms dry after like the initial time of drying in the oven. And you know, there were a few that uh, developed some form of mold or uh, something like that. So those I just discarded, I put them in the compost. But one interesting thing I thought about too is like what about freeze drying these mushrooms? Because they do have a very high water content, right? And that's kind of why I have to use the oven. I can't just dry the mushrooms in the open air because they tend to melt uh, and, and break down. Uh, and then I get a bunch of maggots in there too. So you definitely need something uh, whether it's an oven or maybe maybe a freeze uh, to kind of help uh, draw that moisture out uh, at a faster rate than what it would in the open air. Maybe it's even simple as just hooking up a fan and uh, if you get that air movement, it'll help to remove that water quickly. That might be something I might experiment with too in the future. But thank you 
so much for checking out this video. I appreciate it. And feel free to let me know in the comments too if you have any particular methods that you like or that work really well for you. Uh, if you have experience of preserving these wine cap mushrooms for over the winter, whether it's uh, drying, freeze drying, um, freezing, whatever it may be. Look forward to seeing you in a future video. Take care.